I'm here in India, in Mumbai, what used to be called Bombay. Behind me is the gateway to India, the entrance to the continent. I've come here to give lectures at the Asian Science Camp and at the university and to talk to Indian chemists and scientists and find out about Indian science. It's our first morning here in India and we're just going downstairs to meet Dr. Gopalan who's organizing our visit and then to speak to the editor of the journal Chemical Weekly. So I'm really quite excited. So my interview I think went quite well, perhaps I talked a bit much, but now we're off to lunch, we're already late, to meet some people from the chemical industry here in India and also a really famous chemical engineer, the father of chemical engineering in India. So we're here in New Mumbai at the opening of the Asian Science Camp 2010 and some of the important scientists are going to make speeches before the real lectures and exciting part begins. I've come here because I like talking to young people. I knew the organisers and it seemed a really good opportunity to meet some of the brightest students in the chemistry from right across the world. I think an electric power cut, quite exciting. <laughs> I'm hoping for several things. First of all, that my audiences should enjoy themselves. They should understand what I'm saying. I'm hoping that I'll meet some new people and perhaps set up some new partnerships and collaborations. I'm here preparing for a talk from test tube to YouTube. It's not really a lecture, it's what's called a camp. I'm going to try and get the students to talk to you and see whether we can make a YouTube video during a lecture. Okay, if you can't hear me at any time, wave. You, as a group, are an exception. You're people who really like science. Which of the explosions do you find most beautiful and most exciting? Uh, hi, Professor. My question is this. If you could be any element, what would you be and why? <laughs> We're in the Indian National NMR facility, Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, and they've got some terrific machines here. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here. We're at the Asian Science Camp, and one of the speakers is Professor Richard Ernst, the um, Nobel Prize winner, and it's a great opportunity for me and Brady to talk to him. I mean, in initially, there was some excitement, but I mean, people get used to it and they recognize that I'm just a normal person. So I'm just getting ready for my big lecture to all the students and the room set out in a rather strange way. Can you all, can you all hear me? I don't know, how many of you know what is a forklift truck and the NH groups of this growing in? And it turned out I had been wearing my wife's trousers. <laughs> As you go on in life, you will find that there isn't just one person that helps you, but lots of people that help you. First of all, for the physicist, I have a souvenir from my university. And for the chemist, I'd like to give him my tie. 